Hi everyone, welcome back to the Rugby League History Channel. Today I'll be doing the 2023 Neville Glover Award. This is the second eldest award on the channel, just after the Paul Carriage Award. The first Neville Glover Award were in 2016, so now we're coming into the seventh year of this award. The award is named after, you guessed it, Neville Glover, the former Parramatta winger who made 121 appearances for the club between 975 to 981, scoring 54 tries. Although he spent nearly his entire career at Parramatta, he did have a short stint at Penrith in 1983. He also played for Australia twice and New South Wales once. Glover is unfortunately best remembered in some circles for dropping the ball over the line in Parramatta's 1976 grand final loss to Manly, which would have won them the game and their first premiership. Now I know some people in the past have been a bit upset with this award or video, but I want to assure you that the man himself, Neville Glover, knows of this award and he finds it all a bit of a laugh. Glover himself gets reminded at least two or three times a week by people about the 1976 Grand Final. He's come to terms with it, he jokes about it and it's not really a big issue. Now like last year for the 2022 Neville Glover Award, there's only one nominee, so there's only going to be one winner. This year, like last year, most of the players did really well on the field, scored tries. There were hardly any bomb tries this year in the final series from what I saw. But for me, there was only one clear winner of the 2023 Neville Glover Award, and there was only one nomination. So let's just get straight on to the winner. And the winner of the 2023 Neville Glover Award goes to a joint winner for the second time. And it's Melbourne's Justin Olam and Trent Liero. And this were awarded due to the fact that they bombed a try in the 2023 preliminary final against Penrith. Penrith raced out to a 4 0 lead in the game, and everyone kind of thought, well, Penrith's going to go on with the job and they're going to put on a big score. But Melbourne scored a try through Justin Olam to make it 4 all. And to their credit, Melbourne held their own for the first 15 minutes. They managed to get an error off a kick. The ball was then passed out to Trent Liero. He had an unmarked Justin Olam out on the left. He passed the ball to Justin Olam, but the pass were an absolute shocker. Justin Olam still should have caught it and scored. He dropped the ball. As a result, it remained far all instead of potentially 10 far in Melbourne's favour. And literally only a couple of minutes later, through Brian Toto, Penrith scored a try to make it 10-4 in Penrith's favour. And from that point on, they never looked back. Would the try have changed things in the game? We'll never know. But it were a huge turning point in the match because Melbourne had held their own. They could have potentially gone in 10 points to 4. But it was the, the actual reverse scoreline for them. And in their moments, especially in the finals games, you have to be perfect. You have to make sure you capitalise on those chances. And in that instance, Liero and Olam really let down the Melbourne side. So congratulations to both players. But let's look back at the previous winners of the Neville Glover Award, starting back with the inaugural winner in 2016. And the inaugural winner were Edric Lee in 2016, where he bombed two tries in the preliminary final against Melbourne and cost Canberra a place in the grand final. Edric Lee is also the only player to have won the Paul Carriage Award and the Neville Glover Award in the same season. 2017, Suliasi Vunivalu, 2017 preliminary final. 2018, Sean Johnson, elimination final against Penrith. Cody Walker, 2019, preliminary final. 2020, the first joint winners of the Neville Glover Award, Josh Mansue and Kurt Capewell. 2021, Patrick Herbert, Gold Coast, in the 2021 elimination final against the Sydney Roosters. And just last year, 2022, Micah Civil for the 2022 NRL Grand Final, where he dropped the ball over the line and bombed a certain try. And the retrospective award, Anthony Mundine, 99 NRL Grand Final, 
against Melbourne where he should have passed to his left but he went himself and dropped the ball over the line. So that concludes the 2023 Neville Glover Award, the winners this year, joint winners Justin Olam and Trent Liero. Hope you enjoyed this video, if you did let me know in the comment section below. Please to the people watching this video don't get offended, it's just a bit of fun, it's a bit of a joke but I know there's going to be someone out there that will be offended so I'm ready for those comments. And stay tuned on the Rugby League History Channel because coming soon is the 2023 Rugby League YouTuber Awards. I'll be putting out nominations for those pretty soon so just keep a watch out on the YouTube channel on the community page and you'll be able to vote for your favourite YouTubers in their favourite categories. So anyways, this has been Rugby League History and I'll catch us all later in the next video. Alright, ta-ra for now.